What's up guys? My name is Dominic and I thought it would be cool to show you guys. I'm working on some fixtures right now. They, they look like that. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna hold these buttons for our outlaw spinner that we make. They're gonna hold 12 at a time. Just like that so I can machine the top. Put a pattern on it. Here's one of the scrap buttons. Don't mind that Punisher's call. That was a custom one that I was uh, testing my program on. So they're gonna hold 12 at a time. And the way we're gonna do that, these halves, they'll be held down by a nut. On the other side, I still gotta machine that side. And these, the other half, oh, that fixture is in the machine. I'm actually milling, actually milling the other side right now. Will be held down, held down by a bolt, a uh, low profile head bolt. So we'll see how that comes out. All right, so the fixture is, one of them is done. One of the fixtures. Let me put you guys on a tripod so you can see what's going on. I'll take the fixture out. Let's see if it's gonna work. I hope it does. I spent at least two hours, three hours now making them. So if I measured something wrong or something is off, it will suck. If you're wondering, that uh, steel is a 1018 steel. I figure I use steel so it's more durable and longer lasting than aluminum. Okay, here's the other side. Torma handled that steel really nicely without any problems. Cover your ears. Okay, let's see if it works. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if the first fixture works. So the idea is that little dimple on the button goes in there. It will be held like this. And we gotta put the bolt on the other side. And what the bolt's supposed to do is hold it down. So let's see if that works. So far so good. And it works. Uh, we also gotta make sure the bolt is flush, which it is. It actually clears, so when I put on my table in the machine, it's not actually sticking out. So, so far so good. Time to finish the second one. See how that goes. I only got one shot at this, so I gotta be really careful. Okay, I'm gonna load that second fixture in. And I'm actually gonna use the same program and just keep rerunning while lowering my Z in the offset so I don't have to go to my cam make adjustments. I'd rather cut shallow and just keep rerunning and lowering my Z then cut too deep and screw the whole fixture up. So uh, yeah, that's the plan at least. We'll see if that works. I hope it does. If that works, then we're gonna make some buttons. Yay! And we are running buttons on the first fixture. I gotta fix my program because it's jumping from one to another, but so far so good. We'll see how it comes out. Okay. So, the program just finished running and I think they look good. I only had six 1032 bolts. I need to order some more to fill the whole fixture up. Let's test 
this I'm the only guy I only have one nut I had more forgot them at home so I definitely gotta bring them we'll see if this one works out hopefully do so I ran some ah, I ran some copper today on a fixture they're looking they're gorgeous I ran aluminum and brass brass is running right now anyway fixture works perfect love it thank you guys for watching